A little while ago, my partner came home from an event that she goes to regularly, and she told me a story that I think will be interesting to you guys watching. See, at this event, there is, oh, there's lots of people, men and women, but there's a particular guy who, up until that evening, my partner really more or less was able to look through. This was a man who was middle-aged, mid-40s, relatively short, uh, balding, and not interesting in any particular way. He wasn't particularly funny or particularly interesting to talk to. He was just a guy. Not annoying, not not anything. Just really easy to totally ignore and pretend wasn't even there. And then this one particular night, she was there and she interacted with this guy because she needs to as part of this event and there was something in his energy, something about the way that he looked at her and interacted with her that made her feel in that moment, uh maybe there could be something with this guy between me and this guy. Now, I got to preface this by saying my partner and I at the time were in an open relationship, so being open to other men was not a problem. But what was interesting was what was different about this man on this particular evening. And really this forms the basis of today's video because what was different about this man was that this man for this particular evening or maybe this, that particular day, was deeply rooted in his dark sexual masculine, right? And he was looking at my partner from that space. And when my partner felt a man look at her from his dark masculine sexual space, she suddenly felt invigorated as a woman, which made her think, huh, maybe there could be something. Now, my partner didn't do anything with this guy, not because she wasn't allowed to, but because she didn't want to. But she suddenly felt that in that moment. And what I want to teach you men today is how to tap into your dark sexual masculine. Because this is something that can radically change the way that you view women and the way that women view you in the world. Now, this is an exercise that I learned when I was doing my men's work development, which I've been doing for decades now. And it's something that I want to share with you today. So keep watching to find out. Have you ever had the experience, and I'm sure you have, where you've been out maybe at work, you've been out at a party, out at, uh, at a bar, and maybe if it's a waitress somewhere, but there's a woman you see, and if you just saw a photo of her, you'd think, she's okay, I mean, you know, nothing special. But seeing her in motion, the way she walks, the way she moves, the way she talks, the way she moves her face, Something, something, some je ne sais quoi about her makes you feel invigorated, makes you feel, uh, makes you feel mm, alivened as a man, right? And you, 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 you just want to watch her and, and you, just watching her makes you feel, it's not just turned on, but turned on as a part of it, but it makes you feel something more, something deeper than that. And it invigorates that part of you. This experience is what we men feel. When we're around a woman who's deeply rooted in her radiant feminine, right? Who's deeply rooted in her feminine sexuality and is deeply rooted in that space, even in public around other people, right? Because what happens is in day-to-day -day life, men and women on the whole are taught to snuff out our sexuality, our masculine, our feminine sexuality around people, right? Because we're taught that's a thing to be ashamed of, to, to, to be hidden. Um, and so we keep it hidden, especially in public. And, and, and sadly, most men and women keep it hidden in private, even in the bedroom. But that's a topic for another day. I'm talking about how we express ourselves and interact with the world around us. And when we meet a woman like that, uh, it's a turn on. And I know you've experienced it if you had a social life at all. Now, it's the exact same experience that a woman will feel when a man is deeply rooted in his dark masculine. And so this exercise that I'm going to teach you today is, is about how to get rooted into that space. How do, you, how do you get reconnected with your dark sexuality in public? How do you get connected with that part of yourself around women? And, you know, this exercise, when I did it, I'm going to share it with you in one second. But this exercise, when I did it, it changed my taste in women radically. Because before that, my taste in women was very... Now, when I say superficial, I don't mean... I mean, looks is always important. How attractive a woman is always a thing. But that was all there was. And when I really start to get into feeling women's energy and really connecting with my dark masculine sexuality, I was seeing things in women that were much deeper. Things that were a massive turn-on that wasn't just about what she looked like. I mean, looks was still a thing, but it went much, much deeper. And so my taste in women just changed dramatically.
So what was this practice? Now, there are many practices that I did, but one of the most profound ones was this. What you need to do is you need to create a habit. And this habit works like this. Whenever you're out and you're around other women. Now, in the beginning, let's say you're around other women, you're not interacting with them. So it could be co-workers at your working space. It could be women on the bus or the train on the way to work. Uh, or it could be you're eating lunch alone somewhere and there's just women around you. Or at a cafe and there's a woman serving you. Whatever it is, anytime there are women that you don't really have to work with that are in relatively close proximity. The exercise is to start to sit there, don't look at them, don't interact with them. But what you're trying to do is consciously feel their energy, become really hyper aware that there's a woman nearby, right? That there's feminine energy right, right near you. And this woman doesn't have to be attractive. She doesn't need to be particularly young or particularly old. She can be a woman of any age range or any looks level. But just start to really try to feel her energy energy? What does it feel like to, 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 to reach out sort of energetically and just think, what does it feel like to have this woman? I can sense her moving around. I can hear her talking. What do I feel? And doing this, the more you do this, you'll start to feel texture. You'll start to feel that every woman has a slightly different energy to her and it's all feminine and what you're doing is you're, you're feeling this feminine energy and you're just appreciating it you're not acting on it you're not trying to look at her in a certain way you're not trying to do anything that's pickup related you're just trying to feel that energy and appreciate it. like mm, i like the way feeling this feminine energy around me feels because it will it will it will start to um, perk you up and make you feel a little bit more mm, masculine a little bit more confident a little bit more switched on and as you do this more and more, you're going to start to become more and more sensitive to the energy, to the vibe, to the radiance, which is what we call it, that women bring to the table. And the more you do this, the more you're going to start to realize, huh, when a woman has a really powerful radiance to her, when she's got the, this energy that she brings is a flavor that I particularly like, I'm really turned on by her. In fact, I'm really turned on by her, even though she's, I don't know, a 7 out of 10 versus a 9 out of 10, which normally speaking, I'd only go for 9 out of 10s. You're going to start to realize that there's something greater here, that when that energy is there, you, you like the way you feel. But something massive is also going to change. And that's the more you do this, the more it's going to become second nature to just live in that space of feeling and appreciating the feminine energy all around you. And after a while, you're going to start to interact with women, like talking to your co-workers at work, uh, interacting with waitresses, and you won't be flirting, you won't be doing anything that's non-platonic, uh, non-professional, but all of a sudden the way you move, because you're going to be so in touch with feeling their feminine energy, that without meaning to, she's going to start to feel you look at her in a different way. And that won't be a sexual way, it's not like all of a sudden you're going to be looking her up and down and be like, hey baby... None of that's going to be happening. It's going to be super subtle and you're not going to be doing it consciously. All you're doing is feeling and appreciating her feminine energy. And that's going to be massive because women are going to start to notice you. Far fewer women are going to try to friend zone you because now you feel like a sexual entity and they'll either be interested in you or they won't be, but they're not going to see you as just a random genderless friend that so many guys suffer with because we're so detached from our dark sexual masculinity. And so connecting with women is a perfect conduit for connecting to that dark sexual place that we all have inside of us. I urge you to try this. In fact, I challenge you to try this for two weeks. For two weeks, I want you to, to start trying to feel the feminine energy of every woman. Appreciate the femininity that every single woman you interact with brings to the table. Practice that for two weeks, and I'd really, really love to hear what your results are. Talk about it in the comments below. Send me an email and tell me how you experienced this, because this has been profound, not just for myself, but clients that I've worked with and done a lot of this masculinity work with them has been profound. And so, yeah, I'd love to hear from other guys who have done something like this before or are going to take my challenge right now. As always, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my video, and of course... Check some of my other videos out. I reckon if you like this one, you might just like those as well. As always, take care, stay safe during this crazy period, and I'll see you all soon.